Hi all folks, this is Max from Zetomax.com. Anyway, first I want to thank user Blazeman2010 for uh, correctly um, identifying my bites. Uh, they actually turn out to be sugars um, because it's, you know, I was barbecuing like every day and these sugars were getting on me and, you know, I never got rid of my, I guess I didn't know they were, you know, that was spider bites, but I guess these are small micro mites that stay on your body and feed off your blood. Anyway, I think I got rid of them. I got a bunch of bug sprays. Um, oh, actually, let's take a look at my leg yesterday. It was so horrible. I thought I was gonna die. Anyway, thanks again, Blazeman2010, for, uh, now I don't have to go to the hospital. I, I was just taking uh, some black market uh, uh, antibiotics. Anyway, let's get on to today's topic. We're going to go learn to install um, a native Ubuntu on the transformer. You can do this on rooted or non-rooted transformer um, because it uses NV Flash, which is uh, NVIDIA's tool to flash the flash ROM or whatever. Anyway, um, the first thing you're going to do is connect your Asus uh, transformer to your computer via USB cable connect it all right and make sure it's in uh, you're gonna copy over um, you're gonna go download this file called let me see here it's called a TF ubuntu.zip and you when you unzip it you'll get a bunch of files um, there's a ubuntu directory copy that whole folder over to your uh, transformer which I'll show you how to do so let's go do that so this is the uh, TF Ubuntu.zip. When you unzip it, you'll get all these files. But you have this Ubuntu uh, directory, right? So what you're gonna do is copy the whole thing. Control, uh, right click, copy. And I'm going, gonna go into my transformer drive, device storage, and go to the micro SD folder, and then just paste it here. Paste it in the, anywhere here. So I'm gonna paste it. And uh, this should take a couple of minutes. And make sure you have a big enough of a S micro SD card. I'm using an eight gigabyte micro SD. That should be plenty. I think it's that file's about 1.2 or three gigs. Anyway, when this is done, we're gonna proceed. Um, so I'll be back. Go we'll have a smoke. Hi. Also, I finished copying over. Um, next, next, what we're gonna do is put our uh, transformer into APX mode. So we're going to put it into APX mode. Uh, we're going to turn the tablet device off. Okay. And what we're going to do is uh, hit the power button while holding down the volume up button when it's powered off. And also make sure it's connected, still connected to your computer. Um, so hit the power up button or volume up and hold down the power button. Hold both down for like three seconds. One, two, three. And let go. And uh, if you're in APX mode, you won't get anything. And when you hit the power button again, it won't start up the device. That means you're in APX mode. All right. Next, if you you can verify uh, by opening up Device Manager, and uh, if you rooted the transformer, you probably have this driver installed. But you should get NVIDIA uh, NVIDIA USB Boot Recovery driver for mobile device. If you don't have it installed. Um, You'll have a question mark with APX. Go go there and update it with the driver from the TF Ubuntu, um, and it's in here USB PC drive, and point it to NVIDIA USB.inf. That should be it for uh, installing the drivers. Uh, once that's done, um, you just have to get into uh, command prompt and run uh, flash .bat. Hi, folks. So I'm just gonna move this whole directory. Um, into my root directory of C drive, it just makes it easier. So I'm going to just take this whole thing and just move it to my C directory. And now it's there, so I can uh, access it easily. Um, anyway, go go to a start search and type CMD to open up a command manager. Um, and we're gonna just go type and install bootloader for Ubuntu native. So go cd slash, that's actually backslash on most computers. I have Korean font. Um, that's why. Go to tf 
uh, Ubuntu like that and type uh, flash.bat alright it's flashing um, flashing everything and it says echo woohoo Ubuntu installed um, so that should be done and uh, let's go back to our tablet device and uh, anytime you want to revert back to Android go back to the step before and type instead of um, flash.bat type restore.bat and you'll see the update is successful you get this and then just hold down the power button and actually this is my first time doing it uh, <laughs> hopefully it's gonna work and it should reboot and let go and uh, let's see if we get full Ubuntu here whoa what is that <laughs> alright we got native Ubuntu um, alright thanks to Jinta, Liz, Lil Steve, Google, and XDA. Thank you guys. So it's officially running um, native Ubuntu, and that didn't take us too long. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. So, here we go. Let it boot into Ubuntu. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm just wondering, you know, how fast it will be. I'm hoping it will be way faster than um, the Ubuntu CH rooted running on top of Android. But for tablet device, I think native uh, Ubuntu makes more sense because you don't actually use it as a, a phone. Um, though originally, I tried to make the Android run on top of, I'm sorry, Linux on top of Android because um, usually. It, it, this was before the days of tablets, but now we have these tablets. Yeah, there's no limits to uh, where you can go. Anyway, let's go check it out. Um, let me adjust the camera, and let me connect it to the internet. Well, actually, you know what? Let me just show you around. Um, so I have that Firefox browser. The touch screen's working. Uh, let's see how fast it is. It's loading kind of slow. So, let me just camera a little bit here. There we go. So, I gotta connect it to my internet real quick. Um, I'll have instructions on that too. So, uh, go check it out. I'll have a separate video for that. I don't wanna have a long video. So, so hi, all folks. So I finally got connected to internet it's kind of uh, if you have open network Wi-Fi network it's probably easy but I have a WPA2 which is kind of a pain but I finally got it running and let me show you the browser it's actually pretty fast uh, it's not it's very usable um, you can see it loads up pretty fast let's try load up my site androlinux.com all right And uh, Flash is supposed to work on this. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, it's kind of frozen. I don't know what's happening here. Um, but I've been playing with it for a little bit, and uh, you can actually. Oh, it, now it loads up. And uh, the USB touchpad doesn't work, so I've got a. But you can connect the USB mouse. Or, so that's kind of cool. Let me load up Engadget. And uh, there's actually a flash player for the uh, Ubuntu uh, Lucid, but this is natty. So my next thing is I'm going to go install RML port of the, um, the Lucid 10.03. And there's a flash, supported flash, so you can view flash on it. Because I think that's what the other um, Atrix 4G is using. Um, as you can see, it works. This touch screen is not, it's just touch screen, there's no multi-touch I think. Um, but, you see it's, it's a lot better than the, uh, um, what are those things? The other CH rooted Ubuntu I did for my Galaxy Tab. It's a little bit faster, but it's still running off the SD card. And I have a really uh, slow class 2 or 4 micro SD. I think if you get a uh, really fast... I think they have class up to six, 
10. I, I forgot, but if you get those, then you can probably run it faster since that's kind of uh, what's slowing it down. But as you can see, there's not really any lag um, as far as the GUI. There's a little bit. And I'm sure there's, uh, you can install something other than uh, um, the GNOME. You can install something else. Perhaps uh, somebody was saying there's a light Ubuntu. Um, I might play with it. But it's cool because now I finally have a native uh, Ubuntu. Not not everything's working. The only thing I'm just get be able to get work is the Wi-Fi for now. Um, you can run it at different you know gigahertz there. I'm running at a full one gigahertz. Um, this is on Natty, and I think this thing is just too full of stuff. Um, but I might go, to, you know, let me show you. Um, you can update the software on it, just like a Ubuntu. Well, it is a full Ubuntu, just made for RML, um, ARM processors. Um, it's really cool. As you can see, I can go. Sometimes my Wi Fi kind of uh, turns off. Um, as you can see, the load is really high and the memory. Look at that. It's, um, but I'm going to go load up Karmic next. No, not Lucid next. Sorry, these uh, those bites are just killing me. Um, so I've got Software Center. But the resolution is really good. Um, it's just like having uh, Ubuntu Netbook, I guess. Um, but it's definitely worth it. Anyway, I'm gonna go uh, build some new um, images for Lucid so I can get Flash on here. And I might play with it more, maybe in install some web server or whatnot. But you see that it's kind of, once in a while it kind of just lags. I think that's from the SD card. Um, anyway, I have also new images, but for now you can, um, try this uh, I've, I'll have directions on how to connect to Wi-Fi I guess but it's kinda complicated because um, it depending on what you're using if you're using open or web I think it's easier but I was using WPA2 and depending how you set up it took me like a little bit to do that but it's running and uh, I'm gonna go play with it um, but that's how you install Ubuntu on your Asus EPAT Transformer and uh, also um, let's go actually revert back to Android um, so you know how to do that so to revert back to Android we're gonna have to shut it off shut off and then we're gonna put it back into um, APX mode this will shut off. Okay, it's gonna shut down the computer. Alright, and then after it shuts off, we're gonna just put it into APX mode, um, holding down the volume down button while uh, hitting the power button together. And uh, it's gonna push. It's gonna power down soon. Oh, I'll be back when this powers down. Actually, I don't like waiting forever. It's just taking forever. So what you could probably do is just hold down the volume up button and then hold down the power button. So when it resets, it's going to do the same thing. So I'm going to hold it for three seconds. Right? And I think we're in APX mode. Hit the power button once. If nothing shows up, we're in APX mode. So. That's good. Let's go to our computer and set this back to uh, Android. So we're going to go back into the same directory. I just left on my, um, my, uh, what is it, the command prompt. And, uh, oh, don't forget to plug it into your computer, which I have it on the charging port. I had it on the charging port. And then type uh, restore dot that okay I got a connection failed which means I'm just gonna do the thing again volume up and hit the power button here real quick 
um, cause I didn't, I replugged in the USB, that's why I didn't do it. And then, let me try that again. There you go, now it's working, NV Flash started. And, alright, I got my boot image back. And let's go to our tab. And it says update successfully twice. And we're going to boot back into uh, Android by holding down the power button. Hopefully I didn't lose my Android. This is the first time I did it. So. Almost back. So I've got the Asus thing back. I should have my my Asus tablet back to Android. Um, in the meanwhile, I'm building images. There we go. So now we're back in Android, so it's all good. So if you guys want to try it, do it at your own risk. But you know the Wi-Fi settings kind of uh, you know just kind of pain. Um, I got a phone call, so. I'm gonna get. Oh no! It just anyway, that was how to install uh, Ubuntu Linux on your Android um, or Asus EPad transformer. Sorry, those bugs bites are just killing me right now. I think I can't think straight. Um, and uh, you know, you can revert it back like this, so there's no harm done. Um, I'm gonna go play with it. Like I said, sorry, it's making mumbling in this video um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button um, at the end of this video thank you very much and uh, I'll see you later